Patrick, you like we tapes and Patrick. CDs? <laughs> <laughs> no, tape these nuts. Wait, hold on. How did that 12-year-old say it? I love the idea of crying after you get these nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. I was like, I wear a tie to work. <laughs> you also eat underwear, you little creep. So. I pooped in Saddam's <laughs> toilet. <laughs> I'm not sexually turned on. Please in the blur out right now. Dave's crotch for this entire podcast. Just in oh case. yeah, I do be spreading. Yeah, be careful <laughs> with my spread. Yeah, you, it's gonna <laughs> alienate the audience. <laughs> now I'm gonna make him. Now I'm gonna make him insecure. <laughs> He's like, yeah. I'm very secure. I wouldn't dress like this if I weren't extremely <laughs> That's secure. True, dude. Not to make it about Nate, but Nate always sits with like a DVD yeah. in his lap. He always like, like literally he puts bulge. like a last time he had like a DVD box in his lap the whole time. He physically he's, censors he's his bulge. Cover his dick. Yeah. yeah oh, okay. Guys. Does he have like a hog that he's trying <laughs> no, to hide? No, okay. Is that what it is? Not that I'm aware. <laughs> of. I don't want anyone to see my tiny. We've never had hog. that conversation. <laughs> I don't think you. <laughs> That's weird. I think it's more of like the opposite. He doesn't want people to see his tiny little. My, ti- my teeny tiny. He doesn't want that he doesn't have a. Bulge. Yeah, he doesn't want people to see that it folds like a camel toe. <laughs> <laughs> that would be sick if he had like the yeah. fattest camel toe ever. <laughs> yeah, I get hard sideways. <laughs> uh, welcome back to the podcast. Nice. Welcome back to Jet Entertainment tonight. Super professional Hell intro. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. We got fucking Patrick back and our main guest, the special guest. <laughs> the the cameras. rad cop of the good cops. <clears throat> That's right, baby. Cop. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dave Hanno. <laughs> What's Whoa. going on, everybody? <laughs> Thanks for coming on, dude. Yeah, it feels good. I like sitting in the middle. It, uh, yeah, that's cool. I wanted you, get I to, wanted you to have to turn your energy, head constantly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's kind of like I'm driving, but I'm not. So <laughs> yeah, dude. We're gonna put a steer wheel in front of you. We'll that might help. I'm pretty funny when I'm driving. You're a funny driver. I'm a very funny driver. Yeah. Some people are very angry drivers, mm-hmm. and the exact opposite of that. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, you silly goose, you almost killed me, you goofball. So uh, Atlanta wasn't good enough for you, you had to come back to... <laughs> no, that wasn't it. I ran out of money. It was basically <laughs> <laughs> Atlanta was too good for me, is too what happened. You. Did you like Atlanta? I loved Atlanta. I Atlanta's still cool. Done that scene you should go, You should go check out Atlanta. There's I have, lots of cool uh, stuff I have down my there. first show Saturday. Where's that at? It's called... <laughs> I'm good we're plug. Gonna, we're gonna cut this in post. <laughs> super, super good. You're gonna make the no, pause no way plugs. longer in post. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's called <laughs> the West Side Paper. It should be like an hour long. <laughs> Point five. <laughs> it's called West Side Paper. Uh, Carlet. Uh, Carlet Carlet Jennings. Jennings nice. Is, is That'll be good. That Carlet runs good shows. That. Yeah. That'll be fun. Hell yeah, yeah, I'm excited for that. And then I do the. We're doing the fucking skull in April, bro. Oh yeah! You guys sign up on email and everything. Yeah, that's yeah, a bro. good time. The email way. I heard that's the best way to do it. <laughs> Apparently, a lot it's of people consistent. D- you yeah. can do it like every like three or four weeks. A lot of people don't do that. So if you do put an email in, the guy's like, "Hey, cool! Someone respects me. This is nice." Uh-huh. Wait, how do they usually get on there? They just. I go? mean, locals are just be like, "Can I have a spot?" Uh, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Oh, just text the guy. So he like yeah, that's just exactly just walk what in. I do to Andrew. Yeah, yeah exactly. <coughs> that's yeah. fine. He Cleveland. probably gets like eight of those texts <laughs> on Wednesday morning. Yeah, Andrew. <laughs> Andrew came up to me in the last mic. He's like, you know, you can like put an email in, and I'll give you a guaranteed spot. I was like, oh, yeah, I know. I'm He's sorry. Like, I know that. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> I've I heard also. that before. It sounds familiar. <laughs> but I would rather instead of opening my emails. <laughs> I'd rather just rather show just text up. You. <laughs> I don't even busy, text him. I usually just That's show fine. up, dude. I usually text him. It's like uh, someone's trying to get in. Is that what that was? No, dude. We got uh, goblins upstairs. Uh, yeah. Oh, cage. word. That's They're cool. Jumping All right. around. Do you like goblins? Dude, yeah, I like goblins. Goblins, these nuts? Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> my boy. That's good stuff. <laughs> This is good podcasting. <laughs> Solid dude. Jet I was dying for it, dude. <laughs> I won't do a podcast if they got a problem with me. These nuts in a couple times. Oh, I, gotta dude, I gotta get a few in. I'll get more in. It's against the rules to not these nuts, dude. <laughs> you guys, you're listening to these you nuts. Can, you can these nuts just don't spread ligma around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna glorify. Somebody that almost really. hit me with a tough one the other day. I don't Did remember they? what it was. Yeah, but was it was it like me? we were talking about yeah. these nuts stuff, and they were like. They, still they were like, it's, got you? they were like, it smells like I'm gay as hell in here or something. <laughs> this is so and odd. then I was almost like, what? <laughs> <laughs> that is a tricky one, dude. Yeah. I was like, what'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> 
I got a what you eating under there one time on like a doctorate guy. I don't know that one. It was oh, what you eating under there? <laughs> you s- you're supposed to say underwear, underwear, and then I'll be like, "Ooh, gross! Oh, you're eating underwear." Oh, gotcha. oh nice. Like I had on a guy that was getting his like doctorates in theater, and he was very upset about it. <laughs> he was like, "I wear a tie to work." <laughs> <laughs> you also eat underwear, you little creep. So. Hell yeah, that guy <laughs> thought he was too fancy to get God. I wear he a did. tie to work. I played dude. his ass so hard. <laughs> dumbass. Yeah, you wear a tie to work and you look like a dumbass. Dude. It's like Shakespeare's <laughs> Bofa. Have you seen that? <laughs> oh, dude. That's great. Do you, uh, <laughs> do you ever <laughs> try to fucking do that on stage? Bofas and oh ligmas and yeah, stuff? Yeah, bofas and ligmas. Like when I first started, for sure. I <laughs> no one's heard this before. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get everybody with the ligma. It was fitness, that's what I said. That one's a good one. Like, you guys yeah. like fitness? I had a few. I was like, you guys like Wendy's? And I'd be like, fitness. And Imagine Dragons was. was a solid one. Yeah, yeah well. that's a good Classic. one. We started doing, uh, after one of our parody songs, we'll say, uh, that's one of our parodies. Parodies nuts. Nice. Yeah, that's <laughs> good. Nice. Parodies, harmonies, anything that ends in E's, you can yeah, really dude. get away with. <laughs> dude. Something dude. to keep I in mind. I don't even know what ends with E's. If bees. you could do an hour of D's nuts jokes, you could put that on HBO <laughs> Max. I remember the first one I ever heard, somebody hit me with the tapes and CDs. That's an aggressive one. That one's one. good. Which I one do you like, like more? Eleven. What's the like, what happens want, if you, you say like tapes, tapes and CDs? Oh, okay, like, tapes and CDs. It was like, that yeah. Makes more sense. <laughs> yeah. It's like, how about I yes. tape my dick to your forehead so that <laughs> you, you can see, see these nuts? nuts. I was like That's 11. He was 11 too. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even know what like, he was Whoa. saying. <laughs> <laughs> and then I told on him. <laughs> he went and to baby jail. And then we did it. <laughs> and then we did it. <laughs> I love the idea of crying after you get these nuts. <laughs> I didn't know. He got. I don't want to oh see the nuts. <laughs> I don't even know who to trust anymore. He said he was gonna tape his, my dick to his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> Start crying at the reality of it. That's great. Oh, dude. I'm sorry. I got too high for this. That's cool. I think we got to restart. Doesn't happen this to is, me. Yep. Is, I'm nice and so. Sorry, we're going to cut all that and we're just going to restart. <laughs> Starting now. Starting now. Welcome like back to, to Jet Entertainment yeah. tonight. <laughs> <laughs> got a special guest, Dave Hanna. Yo, what's wow. up, everybody? I'm special guest, Dave Hanna. <laughs> I'm the unspecial guest. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, Patrick dude. Cuddle. Yeah, Patrick, you like we tapes and Patrick. CDs? <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, dude. What do you mean tapes and CDs? <laughs> what do I mean tapes and CDs? <laughs> I'm not tape these nuts. Wait, hold on. How did that 12 year old say it? You tape my dick to tape the your forehead <laughs> so that you can see these nuts. That's a lot to see memorize for an 11 year old. That's like having he a tight five. Dude, if he <laughs> got it off like one try, no stuttering, mm. too. That's oh, dude, he was a uh, he was a uh, jokester. He was a sure. scumbag <laughs> prodigy. <laughs> no, he wasn't. He came he was out a the good womb kid, but he was just so shit. good at fucking with people. Yeah, that makes it hit harder because yeah. no one ever sees it coming like, he's a good little boy he mm-hmm. would never say he's gonna tape his dick to your head <laughs> yeah a little blonde kid <laughs> cute as a button dude it was like macaulay culkin he's hitting a you sweet with that young shit. man macaulay my son would culkin. never yeah. say that <laughs> tape my dick to your home board, alone dude. with these nuts <laughs> <laughs> trapped in these nuts oh man were you a good kid dave yeah i guess you could say i was a good kid i was a decent kid did you like get good grades and stuff? Yeah, I got I got good grades. Cared what I the got I, my grades were good enough that it's surprising that I'm a comic. <laughs> that makes sense. I definitely should have been something else <laughs> if, it, if, I, if I had to take a guess. But I don't know. I just like hanging out too much. Scientists too. don't ever hang out. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I prefer to hang out. Chilling is is fun, and it's like if you have to die someday, why would you spend the whole time doing math? <laughs> I'm not I'm not anti math. But I'm not like pro math either. You know what I mean? Mm. I like a nice medium on my math. I like to know I can do like basic ten and twenty digit <laughs> multiplications. You know? But I, I, I was trying to do it the other day. I forgot how. Yeah. I was trying to do like twenty three <laughs> times seventy two in my head. I was like, can't yeah. do it. I can't even subtract in my head anymore, bro. No, now I'm like, okay, <laughs> like it's, if it's twelve three digits, o'clock. Oh, yeah. three digits. Yeah, yeah it's twelve right be. now. I gotta be there at seven. <laughs> How many hours <laughs> until I got to one, yeah. two? 
<laughs> me and Jed had to be in Huntsville at uh, six thirty, oh, and I was yeah. like, I was oh, like, I think we need to leave it like. Add an hour. I was like, I think we need to leave it like two. two yeah. <laughs> <in our time. laughs> yeah, you gain an hour. He's like, let's leave it three. That way we can get there at six. I'm like, what are you yeah. doing, dude? It's nah. crazy how and hard it was only. A, you it, I thought it was like a three hour drive. And it's you like actually, an hour and yeah, minutes. you actually got there at like one o'clock Huntsville <laughs> time, right? <laughs> We had a lot like, of time. I guess to we're gonna go look at uh, that uh, big rocket or whatever they got down there. We went to a smoky rocket, pool dude. hall. Yeah, that sounds nice. Was it Maggie out. Myers? Steve, the Steve's they probably got more. Q Steve. and Grill, dude. Yeah. Sweet. They still let people smoke inside at yeah. Steve's, dude. I love it. Yeah. I wish. So. I don't know. Either I know that or the cigarette smoke was so thick in yeah. there from the nineties. It's still there. That yeah. is just still there. So they, they never opened a window. <laughs> yeah. it's the same smoke. I don't as think the they air. had a window. Dude, they, they generally <laughs> no, don't yeah. let people smoke at JJ's anymore. But th- every time I go and I leave, I'm like, I still smell like a bunch of cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell happened? Well, I, they let them smoke at the mic now. Do they? Yeah. Nice. John Whatever. wants him smoke at the mic. Mm-hmm. He's got the when I host, of, I he's got the smoke. line of tape on the floor to yeah. separate the smoking section and the non. Really? <laughs> yeah. Is that yeah. legit? You haven't seen it? No, I have not seen this. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Or it's is just is like he a like shitty CDs piece of duct tape. It's literally on the floor. duct tape. And I it's watched not even him put like it down. it's not even <laughs> flat. <laughs> Next time I'm there, y'all got to point that out because I I have not seen that. That's hilarious. So wait a sec. I don't understand. There's a smoking section. How can JJ's have a non-smoking section? It's not big enough. Oh yeah, <laughs> he it barely registers it's psychological. Section by psychological. He put itself. a piece of tape down across the fucking like yeah. in the middle of the bar. So <laughs> half the bar is non-smoking, and then half the mm. bar. And w- when I say bar, it's six seats. It's like yeah. the size <laughs> of a school bus. Dude. If y'all yeah. saw the bar is no no bigger than the store we're in right now. I don't. This yeah. is I mean, yeah, pretty much. Size. This is yeah. This is JJ's. and I know the audience. JJ's can't tell, but JJ's this is probably is exactly. 50 by 125 feet. I don't know. That's a lot more mass than <laughs> <laughs> designated. To What's the out. cubic area? Like <laughs> I bet John does What's not the know volume the cubic of JJ's? Area of JJ's. Yeah. The volume of JJ's? Oh, yeah. Loud. <laughs> very loud. <laughs> it's the loudest bar ever, dude. It is very loud. I mean, they're going hard. Local flavor. I hope none of your uh, audience lives in like Alaska or something. <laughs> Fuck like, we can't <laughs> get <laughs> You never know. I if feel they're like ever in whatever city we're in, they can. They'll be like, go to I mean, JJ's. how many yeah, you see people from Japan? Like, we gotta go to Chattanooga. We gotta see the Jet Tatum podcast. What <laughs> I've learned is there's a JJ's in every city. Yeah, there's pretty much that. Well, bar. not every city lets you smoke inside. Still, that's there's, true. There's a JJ's esque place in every city. Oklahoma City. There's a place called JJ's. <laughs> really? That has a Thursday night mic. Really? Yeah, Damn, and it's a dude. fucking alley bar. Huh. But it's like a double stacked alley bar, so it's two JJ's. Oh. On, it's literally the layout of JJ's, but two but of twice. them on top of each other. Yeah. Okay, that's crazy. They and do, it's got they like do the little uh, hair of the dog trolley thing to like bring. Oh, the, the dumb waiter. Up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The dumbass waiter. <laughs> I used to work waiter. in a restaurant with stairs, and it was that like, sucks. It was like. <laughs> 17 steps and then like another 17 like it was like a high ceilings like very you tall say ceiling. you're not a math guy but you're throwing out a lot <laughs> of specific <laughs> dude, numbers dude no i'm like weird <laughs> <laughs> i noticed like a lot of the that kind of stuff around me i'm always like looking the jj shit was just throwing out goofy numbers he, out keeps, there. Just he stairs. keeps all the pins that he's <laughs> used to think about yeah. all the miles all of, of the, ink that he's written all of out. the like from the joke books and shit like from all the shit i've written i have like pretty much all of the empty pins because it's, it's just interesting l- to me. You haven't lost any of your pins? <laughs> I've That's lost what pins. I don't understand. I've lost right? pins yeah. for sure. I've never once in my life had a pin long enough that I could use all of the ink Bro, in it. Ever. I didn't think When was I was real. in college, I was beasting out notes. I've never, be- out I've never notes. written out a whole pin. I've never used an entire pin. That's I've crazy. always lost it or it's I've broken. Done, or I've probably done like 15 or 20 pins, dude. Killed them. <laughs> really? Smashed them. That's yeah. crazy. That's it? <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> you can go buy a twenty pack of pins right now. That ain't shit, man. <laughs> yeah, that's only like five dollars of pins, bro. You need to get your pin game stronger. You also need to buy cheaper pins. What I'm gonna make a. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Come on. I'm gonna make a machine just for wasting pins. Like it just like moves ink around on the. Yeah. The pin around. Just make it seem like you write more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah look at all these empty pins I have. I have thousands of empty pins. I invite ladies over. I show them my empty box of pins. I show them all the books I haven't read that I think I read. 
<laughs> yeah, like the fucking 20, 30 books. Yeah, you're like, War and yeah, Peace. Yeah, gonna, <laughs> you know what's funny? When you go to McKay's and you don't read and you buy like five books. <laughs> yeah, and you're like, I'm going <laughs> like, to read, read all of these. <laughs> And then the guy at the register is like, yeah, these are in a constant rotation. <laughs> <laughs> What's the last book you read? Ooh, that's a good question. Uh, Charles Bukowski. Really? Yeah, embarrassing. I don't even know what that <laughs> is. <laughs> it is embarrassing. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Is that like a philosopher? He's like uh, that like Nietzsche or uh, something? He writes like novels. Oh. But he's just, he's like really dirty. Like his thing is like, he's like, I walked outside, I saw my neighbor washing her car. I wanted to come on her tits <laughs> jesus christ i swear to god it's, it's like that you were i put i put my my hand on her cunt and she <laughs> you know how, I mean? how philosophical <laughs> a deep thinker it's funny yeah, for sure philosopher. it is pretty funny yeah. we truly lost someone when when he went out the door what was his name charles, charles bukowski. bukowski you would it like him sounds, it sounds yeah, it's like a funny. carl jung or like a fucking it sounds like <laughs> some deep thinker's name he's, and he's like just writing about coming on he's a uh, asshole drunk like Ernest Ernest Hemingway was like an Ernest Hemingway drunk, where he wrote like a sophisticated kind of thing. Not that I've drunk. ever read an yeah. Ernest Hemingway book, but <laughs> yeah. he was famously a drunk. Yeah, you yeah. Hemingway saying? seems like he'd be more of like a brandy guy. Whereas <laughs> what you're describing, Bukowski sounds like a 24 pack of PBR by himself. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's like an everything guy. He's just like over bloated and <laughs> just wheat beer that Is, he's been what's, drinking. Are constantly. you saying that like there's something wrong with drinking 24 PBRs by yourself? I yeah, mean, dude. I wouldn't recommend doing it. But there is something wrong do with doing night. it. Once you've hit like 30 years old, you need to cut back on that <laughs> for <laughs> sure. Because then it starts getting weird. We got a few years. We're yeah. good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you can't. Your body is still processing it pretty well. But as you age, people will be will just be able to look at your face and be like, this guy gets drunk. <laughs> like like yeah, constantly. For sure. I work with a guy yeah, like that. He got like the big red nose. Oh, yeah. I used to have like a very, when I drank really heavy, I had like Bulbous. a real bloated face and a bloated body <laughs> and a bloated, yeah, it, I don't know. And I don't know. has anything changed since then? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't drink nearly as heavily as I did then. It was, it was bad. I had a problem. How old are you, Dave? Uh, 31. You want to do the math on that? How old are you? <laughs> I'm turning 27 next Saturday, bro. Okay. 27? Yeah. The four years difference. That's a, that's a whole... No, I'm actually <laughs> turning 26. I'm very excited to... That's a whole high school class 27. that we skip. Are you Gen Z? <laughs> I'm 26. Or I'm turning 26. Tw I think I am Gen Z. Man, <laughs> I've so heard people say Zillennial. I don't remember 9 11. But oh, I don't like that. <laughs> I'm not like super Gen Z. That either. just makes sense. You would have been like kind of in between four. You would have been like three four when 9 11 yeah, happened. Yeah, was three and a half, dude. Okay. We're the same age. Like by the couple did it, months. Did it hit you the same? Is it hit me? I it, literally, it's my yeah, first I was three memory. watching those towers go down. I, I was yeah. like, when I'm can not I joking. List? I watched it go down at three years old because yeah. we were getting ready for my grandma's funeral. Wow, what a terrible day! <laughs> yeah, for your dude. I, like, like grandma died. The economy died. It's probably <laughs> my first memory. I'm we're pretty under sure. Attack. I'm trying to think if I remember yeah. something before that. I'm pretty sure that's my first one. So the biggest thing I remember that's about 9/11. <laughs> Is that the line at every single gas station was like out into the street because mm -hmm. people are like, we're going to war with the Middle East and we're not going to have any gas ever again. <laughs> so they were out like filling it with they're filling like plastic bags and buckets with gas. It was a total gas plastic panic. bags. Yeah. Not the only gas panic we've been through. We did yeah. one before oh, COVID. I had a gas panic. Just recently. Yeah. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was gas. thought it was you, the yeah, you, ate the in, you ate in Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I almost shit my pants today. Yeah, I get that. Struck oil. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> We're rich in poop around here. <laughs> <laughs> What's the last book you read, Dave? Um, the Cat in the Hat. <laughs> 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 I, haven't, so I haven't physically read a lot of books in a while, but I've listened to some audio books. The last one I remember vividly is the book that Goodfellas is based on. Nice. Um, I didn't and know it was based on a, a good book. movie. It is. It's a it's a good movie. I it's a great movie. book. Um, I think the author's name is Nicholas Pileggi. He also wrote the book that Casino is based off. Oh, really? Right. So it's like yeah, it's like a mafia writer doing like, I guess you could call it true crime books. Like it's not serial killer stuff. Well, they did murder people. I guess was it like stuff, I don't based off of real mafia or was he just yeah? Like they're both based off of true stories. Yeah. Okay, I didn't um, know if he was like, uh, just kind of giving the idea of what 
went down without actually like telling the story of it. Yeah, you know no. I mean? uh, uh, yeah, that's like how uh, people say the guy that wrote James Bond. They say he's a spy because like oh yeah, some of the they do shit say that. in the well, first, like, like in the books, they were like, yeah, there's yeah. no way that he could have known. The that. guy that <laughs> did the terminal list was a Navy SEAL, and instead of leaving the SEALs and writing his book about what he did in the SEALs, he just yeah. did fictional. And then they made movies and shit yeah. and mm-hmm. shows. You know, they say the guy that wrote that, uh, you know, that Judd Apatow movie, Knocked Up? Yeah. That's written by a guy who knocked up someone. Whoa. <laughs> so, yeah. <it's laughs> a lot of real life stories going on. The guy four, that wrote yeah. Star Wars. 40 year old vir- yeah. virgin, too. J.R.R. Tolkien? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That guy's a wizard. He really did that. <laughs> yeah. Arnia, yeah. bro. All that stuff, dog. Yeah, C.S. Lewis would just hang out in his wardrobe <laughs> for, like, days on end. Mm-hmm. And he'd never age. Just stay in there forever. <laughs> he'd uh, stay in there for two, three days at a time, and he'd come out exactly <laughs> the same. I always thought it was dumb that at the end of those books, they're always like, time to go back to Earth. And it's like, why? <laughs> why? Yeah. Yeah. Why? I they know didn't we're the even kings. like have parents yeah. around, did they? Yeah, they're like we're we're kings and queens here, but what about mom and dad? And it's like mom and dad don't even think we're gone. We've been <laughs> yeah. gone like three time minutes in Earth time. Still. We can stay here forever and ever and never mm-hmm. die. And you guys want to go back to her? It would still <laughs> fuck them up. They're yeah. still like ah, that's mom. Oh, and dad. Well, can you Probably. imagine like living nah, for? Bro. But honestly, if you my Narnia would be like I fall into my closet and it's just like hella. You know, it's like just a pat- the shit I like. Whatever like you think I like, Wonderland it's all just the stuff I enjoy. Yeah, like it's just like everything. I think you're just video games, in hanging out, not doing anything. Like AI count. pictures of dinosaurs with yeah, big tits. big titties, <laughs> <laughs> dinosaurs, big fucking animals dinosaurs. doing crazy shit. You know, like a dog Kratom. juggling. Just if Kratom I was in Minority, the there's a dog. Dog Kratom as far as the eye can see. Staying awake for days. Yeah, Kratom. Nitrous. Have you ever done Kratom? I've done Kratom. No, dude, I. I was I thought cuz just hearing people talk about it it was like you could use it as a pre-workout. I kept mm. hearing people saying that. So I got the little liquid ones that you buy at the gas station. Yeah. Shot the vial down, got ready to start working out, and then immediately it was <laughs> I was like, "Oh fuck." And I felt like I was on a fucking Roxy. Yeah. And Did I went puked and fucking <laughs> laid in my bed, <laughs> eyes dilated, pale and shit, just like High as fuck. So you and took a bedtime cradle. I guess so. <laughs> okay. You got to take the wake up cradle. Oh, my bad. I didn't take the wake up I didn't know there was a daytime and a nighttime cradle, dude. It didn't say it didn't say yeah. night cradle or There's something. one because I think uh, it's meant to help people cope with either um, getting off of, like, addiction. Opiates, to, yeah. Yeah, o- opiates or to, like, uh, speed narcotics. Oh, like, right. Yeah. So the the bed the the stay up kratom is like truckers will be like you gotta take eight of these. When I worked, I worked at a pizza place, so I was hanging out with these guys. Uh, well, I mean we'll call them degenerates. They were cool guys, but they're, they're basically degenerates. And they were like, man, we are take these kratom pills. You gotta take like five if you want to make it work. And I was like, sure, I trust you for some reason. Mm. So I took five of these, and it definitely felt like I did like a bunch of coke. Really? And I was, yeah, I was just behind the pizza counter like yeah, talking, <laughs> tossing pies, putting pepperoni. Staying awake till 4 a.m. <laughs> I did it one time and I was like, I think I aged three years. Jesus I don't think I could Christ. do this anymore. Yeah, the shit I had definitely did not do that to me. I felt like I was on fucking heroin, dude. Yeah, I think that's definitely the bedtime kratom. That's got the little <laughs> bit, the little bear kratom. with the hat on it. You know what I mean? It was just a green vial. Yeah. It was a fucking. Yeah. <laughs> it's just you, lace over, <laughs> little cozy blanket. I did not vial like going of kratom. Sleep, dude. I like Ebenezer Scrooge. You got you one know, of those chains they sell at the gas station <laughs> on. You got your little Rick and Morty bong. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, dude. Kratom's for real boys. And someone told me the liquid's like stronger too. Yeah, I think that's so. That's what I took. That shit I think, fucking sucks. I don't, yeah, you, you probably you probably definitely took too much. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's like, yeah, try it again. Fuck <laughs> no, dude. You I didn't, did, you didn't I get a do fair shot. Yeah, yeah, it's not like a five hour energy. You're not supposed <laughs> to do the whole bottle. It's supposed to be sip and serve type of situation. I did not fucking. I love uh, yeah. five hours for sure. You a big five hour guy? <laughs> when I got when I got when I need them. Yeah. Yeah, Those I'd, things I'd, feel like I always feel like I'm gonna have a fucking heart attack taking yeah. this shit yeah. every time. I made the mistake of buying like a, I think it was a 24 ounce of Red Bull one time. <laughs> I had done that when I was like 22, and I was totally fine. <laughs> so I was like, I can do that again. I'm a 30 year old man. It'll be okay. 
Dude, I thought I was going to have a heart attack. I think I almost went to the hospital that night because I was up at like 6 a.m. and my heart was still pounding. <laughs> like I could feel it just pumping. That's out good. Of my chest. That's <laughs> good. Like, that's that's that good stuff. That's what, yeah, that's want. a good sign. That's this what shit you gave want. gave me wings. You ought to go <laughs> get the <laughs> pill that they sell. I'm popping in the mic. You ought to go get the pill that they sell uh, over there at the gas station. It's called Swag or something. Mm. And it says one. What does it say? One to hurt her, two to kill her. Jesus Christ. And it's got <laughs> a, a stick figure. Do you think they're advertising that to <laughs> men or women? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. It's got a stick figure drawn on it. Do you want to kill your girl? The dude's like rock hard, and the girl's laying on the ground with a with a, her crotch on fire. And then the second picture, she's split in half and burning on fire. <laughs> <laughs> and they sell this? Apparently, <laughs> it's right over there. Oh, Dude, you can go buy it. <laughs> Not only do they sell it, they sell it right, <laughs> right there. Right there. Right, so right across what, the street. <laughs> what's the difference between, like, so you got blue chews, and that's just, like, a little <laughs> blue tablet, right? And it gets you hard. And then you can go to the gas station and buy, like, uh, they're called, like, Superman jerk-off pills or something. <laughs> and they're, like, this big. They're, like, bi- they're yeah. like horse tablets. Are That's why s- I was asking him. I was like, are you supposed to fucking take that? It, they're metal. The ones I'm That's talking what I'm about asking. are metal. Are you supposed to eat it? <laughs> what do you do with that? <laughs> like, do I put you this put in, it in your butt. Some? It's a vibrator. That's what I was <laughs> thinking, dude. You put <laughs> it in your ass, bro. Dude, you might. I've never thought about that. Yeah. I've never thought about buying uh, stuff to put in my butt, but uh, I guess two little vibrating yeah. pills. I guess when you look at it, a lot <laughs> like more stuff put in your butt. <laughs> my ex really like wanted to try stuff to my butt, <laughs> and I was always like not super into it. And she'd be like, "What's wrong?" And we're like, "I don't know. It's just like <laughs> not working for me." Women are into that, yeah. They want to. They want to. They want They're the trying to turn you out, dude. <laughs> 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 they want you to be gay. They're hypnotized <laughs> by that song, Slut Me Out. They're trying to slut you out, dude. That's what happened. <laughs> I, I did that? get slutted out. I didn't <laughs> like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the, I, the idea of you coming. You do that, and then you come back to JJ's, and you're like, I'm just a horny little gimp now. <laughs> <laughs> all, I, all I think about is putting stuff oh, in my yeah. butt. All the Patrick, time. what is that under your shirt? Oh, this? This is my, <laughs> my nipple clamp. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 Try. You can't rip it off. <laughs> you can't. It'll just keep going. Oh, Hell I got, yeah. I got nipple clamps Hell on my That would be sick now. if I was like a gimp doing stand up. In the suit <laughs> like and everything. In the suit. Yeah, you can't even see my face. We don't know who he is. <laughs> he says whatever he wants to up there. We can't even <laughs> tell him to get off. You should definitely start doing gimp comedy, dude. Mm-hmm. More people need to dress up as characters. <laughs> when they do comedy. That's what's com- that's what comedy's like. Yeah, dude. That's characters. That's what it. That's where it's heading. Writing to. writing jokes and <laughs> stories and shit. That's not working anymore, no, dude. Man. We're dressing up in gimp suits. Yeah, well, we're out of ideas. Is it? <laughs> it's, it. it's gimp suits forever now. Gimp suits, furry suits, no suit. Naked comedy would. Uh, I've heard of shows where they they do it completely naked. Yeah, they so. do that at Skank Fest. Yeah, it yeah. sounds real one sided. I feel like no one wants to go see the dudes. You yeah. know what I mean? Us. Yeah. Well, no there was like porn stars starting naked comedy in California. I wonder if while. that's funny. Do you I think they're know. funny people? I've uh, I've watched. You could do some funny act outs. I've watched a couple <laughs> of. <laughs> I've, wa- I've watched a couple of their sets on mute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the jokes it. turned me off. Honestly. Yeah, I didn't. They started talking, and I was like, "Ah, they're not moaning." Too much. <laughs> <laughs> just What's up with the airport anyway? <laughs> <laughs> walking around with their dick hitting their leg. <laughs> <laughs> What's the deal with that? Yeah, I want to see Seinfeld <laughs> doing yeah. naked comedy. I got a weird lump on my balls. <laughs> <laughs> What's this mean, <laughs> Jerry? <laughs> let me see the lump. <laughs> Kramer busting in is like balls and dicks flopping <laughs> out all over the place. Jerry, <laughs> opening up the fridge. If you got invited <laughs> to do Skank Fest, would you do the naked comedy? I mean, we've. Uh, I think we're applying to Skank Fest this really? year. Yeah, hell yeah. I'm dude. kind of in a position where if someone gives me money to do something, I'll pretty much do it. <laughs> and so you'll, yeah, you'll if, do the naked comedy. I think show? I would do a naked comedy. I, would I don't never think do. they like film it and send it to your parents. <laughs> do they send it to your parents? <laughs> if they send it to your parents, I'm not doing it. <laughs> That's I don't your think draw. they can handle it. I feel like I'd be nervous. Yeah. More nervous than a regular show. No shit. Because I've never been naked. in front of someone that I wasn't like. I can tell you right now, before that show, I would be clean as hell. I would be like the most clean you've uh-huh. ever seen. I'd be like, 
hand towels all along the body, mm-hmm. getting real into the bunch, nair you know what on I mean? everything. Nair. Yeah, yeah, dude, nair up hard. Yeah, <laughs> completely hairless. You wear a skin suit and you just, just put real <laughs> fake looking fake nipples on it. God, they look like a dolphin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm bald too, so it'd be, it'd be like the whole package. You would look like a baby, too. Oh, you yeah. look like a giant yeah. baby. Dude, Ryan, Ryan walked out of the bathroom last night. I was at his apartment. He just says, "Oh, I thought there was a huge baby." All because I don't have that much hair anyway. Like, oh, I you're got pretty this. hairy, yeah, dude. That's, that's I don't a know, good this amount of yeah. belly yeah. hair. Like over here. But if like you shave here. that, you definitely would look like a baby. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It wouldn't be that hard. They got good razors for this stuff now. So. You don't even have to get a straight razor. Next time, next time we do this, we'll shave your stomach. Yeah, let's that shave your fun. belly. Dude. <laughs> I'll do it right now. Let's go. Grab gotta, the razors. Yeah. You gotta pay me ten bucks. T- <laughs> you kids can shave me all you want for ten dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Dave's the coolest. Uncle Dave's great. You let him shave his belly. Dude. Me and Uncle Dave's band <laughs> hanging around and shaving his stomach. <laughs> Oh, he let us pay him to shave his stomach. <laughs> he he <laughs> let us pay him. That was my, he, we wanted to do it for free, but he said we could pay him. Uh, have you ever thought about who is the good cop and the rad cop? Like well, that's, who our, is what? that's our opening joke. Is is the, uh, we're both rad cop because there are no good cops. Uh, if you don't like that joke, you can defund us after the show. Nice. <laughs> yeah, my bad. It's, it's kind of, no, it's okay. It's like to judge if um, we're going to have a bad set or not is basically. That's but actually a good yeah. idea. <laughs> there, are, there are some times we do it um, and, and it we're like, bad. we probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we did one last night in Athens where we did that. And then yeah. uh, like a few people in the crowd are just like, well, I'm not going to like this. <laughs> <laughs> the whole rest they, of it. Yeah. yeah, yeah they're like, they all cops are evil. All. Let's sing about my balls. <laughs> right now. Yeah, up, but man? what about Truck Jeans beer situation? That, that got you, back, That right? usually gets them for yeah. the most part, yeah. But by that point in time, they've completely forgotten the cop. <laughs> Ideally, they've forgotten the cop joke. On Elite, we did After the ca- the third kazoo solo yeah. on <laughs> <laughs> Moto where my dad lives. That's if we do a naked show, I have to put the kazoo in my butt. <laughs> I've got to. It's the rules. <laughs> I signed the forum, the whatever. I don't think a kazoo works like that. You gotta hum and do it. You'd have to have it. You definitely could fart into it. You'd have to have it pressed against your butthole, not in your butt. No, no, you could fart into it. Well, you hum into it. You think you could just fart? You think you can fart with something in your butt? You think you can just fart? Is that what you think? (laughs) This guy doesn't understand kazoos at all. (laughs) It's the first thing they teach you in kazoo school. You can't put this in your ass. It won't work. (laughs) So stop trying. (laughs) <laughs> you got a fart in it. That's good. You got to have a rumbly fart, though. It can't be like a... <laughs> it can't be all air. There has to be substance to it. You know what I mean? Liquid has to be involved or it's not going to make any noise. So what you, you can't play a kazoo dry, dude. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. you got to wetten it up. Yeah. Loosen the whistle. You got to play a wet kazoo, dude. That's great. It's like a clarinet, bro. It's like a clarinet? You got to get it You got to hum into a clarinet? Yeah. Do you play the clarinet? Mm-hmm. Hmm, this is interesting. That's how you play it—is you hum into it. Really? No. It's <laughs> they still make wood. They still but it make does have to be wood for those. <laughs> yeah. Is that a, a wood. That's a woodwind, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Woodwind. You can fart in those, <laughs> and it will work. I think I've seen that done. I think you could. You could definitely yeah. play those wet in your butt. Dude. You'd have to yeah. have your butt on the reed the right way. Yeah. Like you'd have to have it squeezing the reed correctly. A pussy would be better if if you can do like kegels. If they've been doing yeah, kegels real it's, good. It's shaped more like a mouth. <laughs> yeah. And it's wetter, so it's like it's your butthole might pinch the reed too much. It'd be hard to get a sound <laughs> out. I'm gonna make my mom listen to this podcast. <laughs> Please do, mom. I was on a podcast. Yeah. I'm gonna I was make my out mom with my listen parents to today. it. <laughs> my parents live in town. I was hanging out with them. They're like, "So you're doing a podcast?" And I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> what do you guys do? I was like, "I don't know. We just like goof off or something." <laughs> I, I don't think it's like intellectual. If that makes. What but you don't, you don't yeah. has been intellectual <laughs> conversation. Hey, I'm having a smart time. All right, we're talking about numbers. We're talking about instruments. Mm-hmm. I use the term it's woodwind. Basically, the scientific yeah. method. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What is that? King of Phylum Cla- No, that's uh, taxonomy. King Philip came over yeah. for good, good soup. Yeah. King Philip came over for good soup. That's the scientific soup. method. That's, what that's what's that mean? <laughs> <laughs> King it's Philip K King. is question. K is, is not question. That's no. <laughs> <laughs> Q. No, yeah. Queen Philip. Not to hit it too Queen. hard. <laughs> Kingdom Phylum K. 
King phylum class, class order, family, order, genus, family species. genus, species. Yeah. You beat me there, dude. That's not the scientific order. He's got a scientific that's, degree. That's true. Taxonomy. That's basically what I went to college for. He got a for. science degree? Yeah. Damn, Environmental bro. science. Can't so it's really? like, that's like <laughs> basically the science of working at the garbage company. Or something. Word. <laughs> yeah, whatever happened to that? Are you using that? His dad's in yeah, waste dude, management. Yeah, dude, I'm a scientist, bro. <laughs> really? You're doing a great job. <laughs> I'm a li- I'm li- it's what it says on my... Uh, paycheck it, uh, it does say scientists on my paycheck. driver's that's license that's why <laughs> <laughs> we cops pull me over they my go li- you're yeah. good to go sir. my license plate says science <laughs> on the back, so i never get in any trouble <laughs> so you know i got it on my passport <laughs> free access anywhere i go you know why i pulled you over it was because i'm saving the trees <laughs> what's, the, what's the issue officer he only plays remixes to Bill Nye the Science Guy theme song. <laughs> Bill, 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 Bill. It's EDM Bill. remix. Mortal, Mortal Kombat, Bill Nye the Science Guy. <laughs> Bill, Bill, but Bill, but Bill Nye the Science Guy. <laughs> Bill, but Bill, but Bill Nye. Fuck yeah, dude. All right, if you could add one character to Mortal Kombat, who would it be <laughs> and why would it be Bill Nye? <laughs> He'd be a good addition. He, he would be a good What would his fatality be his like? His fatality would be... Um, Consider the following. <laughs> you'd like kick your head off or something. Consider and then some uh, little girl would come out and be like, wow. <laughs> Science rules. Science. <laughs> I do like when, because like in like 2016, he was an anti Trump guy, and they're like, he's not even a real scientist. <laughs> like, well, he's, he's he kind a of a real scientist. <laughs> yeah, Just because you're on TV talking to kids. Uh, that yeah, makes you feel you're, you're acting like you're a scientist. You don't even have yeah. a PhD. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a scientist. There's also, a lot of sci- like fucking uh, Matt Edmond was a scientist. Matt Edmond was a scientist. He worked at a yeah. battery plant or mm-hmm. something, right? At a what? At the battery yeah, he was plant, shoveling batteries. Shoveling batteries. Day in and day out, he worked at the the battery <laughs> union. <laughs> yeah, shoveling. He worked at the battery forge. Dude, yeah. they were <laughs> melting rocks uh. and turning them into batteries. Uh. <laughs> Come home, sweat on his brow. <laughs> Just digging them out. Rip of the a shirt ground. off, rips mm. down to the nines. Just <laughs> <laughs> you know how many batteries they lifted? You know how many A's these batteries have on the end of them? <laughs> What's the biggest battery? Is a car battery? Is that like an 8A? <laughs> uh, how many A's is that? I think it's like a 4D. I, I think they got them in a whole different. Yeah, they got, they got 4D D's. batteries. <laughs> you can smell these batteries. <laughs> All right, y'all keep going, dude. I got to pee. Hell yeah, dude. We're we can, right in the middle of talking about batteries <laughs> right now. No, it's okay. We can we can riff about batteries. We don't need what, to. Um, what did you just ask, Jet? He's gone. It He's was something listening. about, he was like, y'all What's ever. the biggest battery? He was like, y'all ever taste a car battery? <laughs> you know, if you, you can lick them to see if they're working mm-hmm. <laughs> with a car battery. <laughs> They make pre- they make pretty big battery. This is good content. Yeah, people fucking love. Dude, batteries. how do you think they move um trains? How do you how big do ass with batteries. wheels? Yeah. <laughs> I think they push them on the wheel. There's a guy. <laughs> what on do you the think the wheels the are made out of? That pushes the t- batteries. batteries yeah. <laughs> the wheels are made out of uh, what's that thing called? Uh, solar panels. <laughs> 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 Electricity. Why yeah. haven't we done that yet? Why haven't we put solar panels on stuff? Is it because it makes too much sense? I don't know. Do yeah. If I put a solar panel on top of my car, will it just power my car? You're an During environmental the day, scientist. I, yeah. The problem with solar energy is like storing it at night. Mm. So that you have to have a diverse... Because then it goes right back to the moon. Goddamn moon. <laughs> stealing all of our the sunlight. The moon is stealing our sunlight. <laughs> <laughs> we should put solar panels on the moon. Because it's always day. Yeah. They will and probably then, do that when they're in So what we So what we should do at nighttime, we shoot the panels to the moon. And then when the day comes, we kick them off the moon and they fly back to Earth. They were talking about putting and solar forth. arrays in space to, like, direct so- solar energy into one spot on mm-hmm. the ground. That doesn't seem like, like it'll be used for war. In <laughs> that seems like it'll yeah. always be a safe Oh, they definitely made it. Dude, the second definitely. they launch satellites, they're like, how can we drop yeah. something how on How do we turn enemies? this into a fucking death <laughs> ray? You, you know, know you can, like, see the ISS. <laughs> like, you just see, like, a big gun in the air. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, a huge hand gun. <laughs> and now we got to shoot a big hand up there to pull the trigger. <laughs> And that's the how second we got space race. The Russians <laughs> are trying to build a big hand. We get a that's how we got Moon 2, a second moon, to watch the moon and make sure it doesn't do anything up there. What are you doing up there, Moon? Respect. Good night, Moon. Hello, Sun. That's the book I'm writing. 
Look into it. My, ch- <laughs> my children's book's like, stare directly into the sun. <laughs> chapter, <laughs> chapter one. If you stare Ow. into the sun long <laughs> enough, you'll fly. <laughs> the cat in the hat looks into the sun. <laughs> That's good. Make the character in the book do it. <laughs> That's how like uh, like Ash Ketchum levels up is by staring, staring in the sun. <laughs> yeah. in the sun. <laughs> Chapter two: <laughs> Licking car batteries. <laughs> oh my god! Have you seen the video of Kevin Gates talking about how he can start a car? He can jump a car with his hands. What? He says he can, like, touch a car battery and touch the other car battery and jump a car off just, like, with his hands. That sounds like a lie. And, yeah, it sounds like <laughs> an obvious lie. But in the, it was, like, lie. on a podcast, and he was, like, I swear to God, he was, like, if I'm lying, may God kill my children right now. Damn. Find it. That's a big way of saying you're an atheist. <laughs> yeah, if I'm lying. It was, like, why would you, like, put it on that, though? Like, that's such a... I worked it's a very with, intense lie for something to... I worked with a guy for one day, and the whole day he tried to convince us that when he was a child, he was kidnapped by aliens, that they took his brain, and that he was like... He, the, the FBI came, and they were like, aliens took your brain, and you can't tell anybody. <laughs> and we were like, why are you telling all of us? <laughs> but then the next day, he didn't show up, Whoa. and we never saw him again. <laughs> Which is that's a great way to quit a job. If you know, if you know you're enough, gonna that quit, is, <laughs> that is sick. He I'm got there and was like, you know what? This guys, isn't for me. <laughs> yeah. I don't have a brain, <laughs> and the FBI doesn't want you to know about that it. That is the best way it's to genius. quit a job. And he's like, can I use y'all as a reference? <laughs> 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 I've never seen him again. Oh, dude. I wonder if he's out there. He's in Area 51 right now. He joined Men in Black, bro. The dishwasher almost fought him about it. He was like, no, you don't. <laughs> and they just went back and forth. I was I'm like, not yeah. going to lie. I thought you meant like an actual dishwasher. You should have seen the yeah, look the, on the dishwasher's they, face. He was screaming bro. at that machine. Just like, I don't have a brain. I got no brain. <laughs> They done took yeah. my brain. I found out what happened to him. He went to Marcus and Ben, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he might have. He's down there right now, brainless. <laughs> it was real. We were They're like trying to show him like, like scans and pictures of him with a brain in his head, and he's like, yeah. "That's someone else." <laughs> <laughs> he's like, "Yeah, I'm the first man that's I know ever what existed the FBI said to a me. brain." And you're like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" Oh man, I saw a thing about um this like. Russian scientist was doing dog head transplants where he would like take what a, he would take one dog he did it with monkeys too he would like take their head and he put it on a different dog you know what like I'm saying like taxidermy <laughs> no like <laughs> living <laughs> dogs like he had like well um, they're not living what, there was one guy that like the scientists were talking about it and they were like that was super unnecessary he did it like 400 was times it? <laughs> yeah, was it there was another scientist where they're like all right he actually pioneered the field of some kind of surgery and he was like <laughs> but he only did it with like 12 dogs so the other guy was just like he was just seeing what would happen like he was literally making like two-headed dogs and shit but they weren't living afterwards yeah they lived for a few days <laughs> 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 and like the dog like both dog heads would be like what is it was fucking weird. The dude. criteria for living is just fucking heart. Their heart beating, brains yeah. working. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, dude, still alive. <laughs> uh, it's a pretty. It makes you ask some pretty big questions about uh, the medical industry in this country. <laughs> Am I right, everybody? Dave, dude, if you and I got a head transplant, I would have your head. Do I get to keep my own brain? I was just <laughs> thinking that. Like, well, your if you put if I put my head on your body mm-hmm. and then I woke up in your body. That makes sense. But if I put, if we just switch heads, mm-hmm. but then we open our eyes and we're like still the same, like I just now have your head. Yeah. But all of my memories oh, in like this body. Like my brain body. and everything stays on, but we do yeah. like a full scalp removal and just put it on <laughs> yours. That's gross. This makes sense. <laughs> this is disgusting. <laughs> they do face transplants. You can get a face transplant. You know, I don't surgeons, think they're free. Surgeons used to wear a, wear it as a like a badge of honor, all the blood and shit on their gown, they mm. wouldn't wash it off. They would, like, just keep it on there. Like a mechanic? Oh, then, yeah. A like, mechanic for yeah. people? And like then, a plague doctor yeah. kind of guy. <laughs> and then one dude, like, started washing his hands before surgery and stuff, and they were making fun of him. They're like, what the fuck are you You're doing? a pussy. He yeah, probably got kicked out of the pussy. field. They he probably, probably did, suck yeah. suck at surgery because he was completely clean every time, but all of his patients lived. They are like, wait a second. <laughs> 
It's a badge of honor for people to keep dying while you're helping them. <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> it's a like, normal can, thing. Oh, yeah, like Civil guy. War doctors. It was like 80% of people died. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you know what They're I'm just saying? Like, but that's cut because it off. they were like, we're going to cut your leg off, chew on this log. Mm-hmm. <laughs> have a sip of whiskey. <laughs> yeah. Sip of whiskey. Here's Chug a, a half a dude, bottle yeah. of whiskey. Here's nah, they're like, whiskey. we don't have much whiskey. We're fighting the <laughs> South right now. We need to <laughs> We blew all bite of down our whiskey cutting people's legs off. You gotta drink tequila instead. <laughs> Here's a mai tai. That's We're gonna cut your leg off. <laughs> mai tai. <laughs> let me get let me get two Russian mules <laughs> and then. We're going to cut your arms off. <laughs> Here's a frozen margarita. I'm yeah. going <laughs> to cut your ankle. Bite Fuck down. yeah, cool conversation. Bite down on this log. Yeah, this really went south. We were talking about staring into the sun, and then y'all <laughs> were like, what if you cut my head off? <laughs> now, wouldn't that be fun if we cut everyone's head off and put it on our own head? <laughs> then I'd have five heads. <laughs> That's more heads that than That would anybody. be sick. Bro. If we all had the same body. Have you Dude. seen that the conjoined twins with the yeah. reality TV show? Well, you know how yeah. you can never ride a motorcycle because you have to spend so much extra money on helmets. <laughs> the more heads you have, the more helmets you never be you able to, to afford have. it. Yeah, they don't make a three-head helmet, <laughs> but boy, if they did, that would be fun. Mm-hmm. We should do it because they have tandem bikes. <laughs> do you think they have tandem helmets? They date <laughs> separate people. Yeah. Do they? Yeah, they yes. have. One That's of them's married, I think. Yeah, same body. How does that One's work? One's married, the other one's not. They save money on rent, though. That's pretty cool. <laughs> It's it's just <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Yeah, it's it is I mean, true as hell. Yeah, and you got it's could you imagine one body, two roommates? Yeah, but like imagine one of your friends that you don't like. You like them, but you could not spend all day with them. Imagine being attached to them. Mm-hmm. Like imagine just being attached to someone that you kind of like, but Dude, don't they share don't want to be around bond. that much, <laughs> and you had to be around them. All the fucking time. The idea of conjoined twins that don't get along at all is <laughs> yeah, a, a dude. tragedy. They like hit the other yeah. guy. <laughs> Why am I hitting myself? I'm gonna shit. I'm, I'm gonna shit our pants right now. <laughs> dude, how about that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they do to get back at each other from time shit to time. Shit their pants. The pettiness of having a, the same body. That would be wild. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm so fuck sick a of fat guy. <laughs> it's hard to imagine. I'm gonna go get gang banged. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna start doing heroin. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Our body, I'm my gonna choice. Start, I'm gonna start doing here. What if, what if one of them's pro life and one of them's pro choice? Yeah. <laughs> and they get pregnant. Then what do they do? I don't know if they could get. Well, maybe they can. I don't know. What if one of them got in an accident? <laughs> what if they <laughs> one of them died and then the other one is <laughs> <She says it's laughs> dead. <laughs> there. Ugh. Yeah, that's scary. I think she would probably um not have a tough time. Y'all are raw with these with this necrotic. Well, head you have shit. to keep brushing her teeth. You know what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> you gotta keep embalming yeah. her head so it doesn't rot. Probably get it taken off. You know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think at that point you just get it cut <laughs> off. I feel like it might just fall off after a while. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a band. fucked up yeah, finger. Yeah, just tie a rubber band yeah, to it and let it go yeah, off like a skin yeah. tag or something. <laughs> oh my god! Can you tie <sighs> a rubber band to a skin tag? Is that I was just thinking I need I a really know. tiny one. Yeah, dude, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. yeah, those little tiny ones. You make Unless like you got a real big skin tag. <laughs> Do you have any really big? <laughs> no, <laughs> skin tags? I just know that's how you castrate pigs sometimes. If you're true. lazy. And what's a nutsack but a skin tag? <laughs> yeah, I mean, Basically honestly, this it's a really, it's like a truly, it's medium-sized skin tag. <laughs> medium-sized? That's a fucking, <laughs> that's a big-ass skin tag, dude. That is. I feel like anything that's immediately visible is a reasonably sized <laughs> skin tag. Because I have a If few, you had something you the size of your what? balls, yeah. <laughs> like on your elbow. Dude, I had one, I had a skin tag uh, by my nuts, and as a kid I didn't know any better, and I ripped it off. Oh, uh. I want to rip mine off. I have one next to my nuts, too. What happens? You should you rip, rip it off, off, dude. It bleeds a lot, and then it goes away. That's oh. pretty much it. Maybe it I'll try up. that out. You should rip them off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do it right now. Do you <laughs> have balls? <laughs> put, a, put a warning on this podcast, bro. Put a warning. Warning. Do not. <laughs> the people you're watching are professional. <laughs> <laughs> the jackass called yeah, yeah. before. This, <laughs> what's up? I'm Steve-O, and this is Pull It Off a Skin Tag. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. Now, just for fun, I'm going to eat diarrhea. I don't, <laughs> I don't care. Who gives a shit? Oh, Have you ever watched uh, 
<laughs> do you know? <laughs> do you oh. know who Sam Hyde is? Yeah, I've heard of Sam Hyde. Have you seen the fish tank thing that he did? No. It's like uh, eight people in a house. They're not allowed to go oh, outside. Oh, I've heard about this. I think. And it's twenty-four hour video streamed, and then people that are watching can like text pay money to, to like prank them. Well, they text to speak, and they like can talk to him constantly spam the chat if they want to uh-huh. and they're in there till they quit pretty much it's like i think the last people lasted for fucking 40 days or something and just tormenting these people <laughs> for 40 fucking days straight. i don't think i could spend 40 days in yeah a house. i just yeah that's what i want to know is like wh- what kind of person signs up to just allow that to happen you Ooh. can see the people that immediately were like i'm out I yeah. <laughs> I what kind of person is like let's do this yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's torture people it's for 40 that's what we need to do actually madman dude he is a madman i think he's evil i think he's <laughs> low-key evil. yeah for sure <laughs> he's kind of scary I've seen the TED talk he snuck in on. That was oh, really dude, interesting. Dude, that was fucking wild. Have you ever seen his open mic sets? Mm-hmm. He, like, Shane Gillis put it the best way. He, like, bombed at the crowd. Okay, so yeah, he, that's what I do. <laughs> that, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Bomb at the crowd. He, like, he intentionally went in there to turn everyone against him instead of, you know, the opposite of what we all try to do is, uh, like, get him to like you. Who benefits from this? Him. He yeah, thinks it's he hilarious. It. He's he just a masochist. <laughs> he re- he records it, and then his psycho fans. He probably yeah, likes just, being disliked. Oh, he loves it. He's I think like, he normal must. people don't get me. Yeah. I'm different. Because yeah. he's yeah. very disliked. He's, he's not <laughs> a likable man. <laughs> he's probably the most hated like YouTuber. He'll just run into the gym and just hit people. <laughs> it's like, what are you really? doing? Really? Yeah. That's no, that's psychopath. Frank Castle. Is the same Hyde do Frank that? Ca- is Frank Castle, isn't that Frank the guy from... Frank Castle. Oh, okay. Like the Punisher Frank does Frank Asshole. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> no, talking about Frank Asshole, Frank dude? Castle, No, yeah, that's dude. Peter Parker. <laughs> Peter Parker beats people up at the gym. <laughs> and Daredevil does it, too. They're all in on it. <laughs> Goddamn Marvel. Oh, dude. Stan Lee, I think, was evil. You think so? Yeah, I think they get it. Yeah, he got know. all those... That's a hot He take. got all that Spider-Man <laughs> shit from the take. devil, man. He sold his soul at the It's all from the devil, man. I seen Iron Man. It's just satanic, dude. I think Stan Lee was just born in the right time where no one on Earth had been like, what if a guy could also yes. do spider stuff? Yes, Because all of Stan Lee's characters are like, what if this guy could, like, jump fast? What if this guy could run real strong? What if these men were different than other men? He's just there. he's like I'm a genius. Like I just don't think anyone has ever done this before. Like how Rod- dude, Rodney that's Mullen. what Gilgamesh is, dude. Yeah. Have you heard of Rodney? The Mullen? original <laughs> Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah. Rodney Mullen is credited with inventing like 300 <laughs> skateboard tricks, but when he started doing skateboarding, the only trick anyone knew was uh, to stand on it and push. Right. So it's right. like, yeah, Iron Man, the kick flip, the heel flip. It was like those are the same thing <laughs> for starters. You just do it slightly different. It's not fair. You just do anything besides ride the board, and you're like, I invented that. <laughs> yeah. I'm in a manual, but on the front. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what the fuck is this guy doing? <laughs> the first, have you guys ever watched the first X Games? No. The no. first X Games is insane. I watched the X Games in, like, 2015, and there was, like, a 12-year-old that did, like, a 900 rotational super flip, and it got, like, golf claps. People were like, okay, whatever. Uh-huh. And then the very first X Games, Tony Hawk does, like, a kick flip, and everyone's like, shut the fuck up. People, like, stand uh-huh. out of their chair, <laughs> like, throwing beers all over the place. <laughs> this is blowing my mind. That guy just, there's a, he did the 900 at the first X Games. People are like, wow, he turns I've seen really that. fast. I've seen the footage yeah. of that where he did the 900. Oh, now yeah. people are out here doing like 1365. Right, and people are like, They're whatever. doing triangles up They're there. They're doing the 10,000, dude. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm going to do the prism. <laughs> 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 I'm doing a hexagon flip. <laughs> The 4D skate trick. Did you ever you skate? You can smell this trick. Did y'all I, ever skate? I tried to do an ollie for six months and never pulled it off, so I quit. I just, like, ride down hills and shit. Yeah, I rode down a hill one time. That was pretty fun. It was, <laughs> I can never it was do cool. it. I got a skateboard for Christmas, like, the kit from yeah. Walmart that a you, like, kit? put together. Oh, you built your own skateboard yeah, for Christmas. Yeah, you, like, put it together. 
instead of buying a skateboard. I don't know why. Sounds hard. <laughs> That's cool. Was it one of those little <laughs> tiny ones? <laughs> no, it was like a the penny hand board. tech decks. Like tech decks. <laughs> yeah. Those are cool. They were like baby skateboards or something. I never got why those. My were buddy around. used to ride around a board that was like this long. The penny like boards. Ride down, yeah. yeah, penny yeah, board, yeah. dude. Ride down like crazy hills and parking garages we used to and shit. Fucking. Almost get a lawsuit from Walmart every weekend with those. Wait, nice. you just ride inside of Walmart? Yeah, they had them at Walmart. We would fuck shit up with this. <laughs> <laughs> I love this town. There is nothing to do in Cleveland. <laughs> this place is the best. Let's go to here. Walmart. I'm not <laughs> from here. I do not. I just. I, I want to make it clear. I'm not from Cleveland. I'm Tennessee from here, at all. and I can tell you confidently that the first several dates I went on with people, we just go to Target <laughs> and walk around. Target's I, fancy, dude. Dude, Target was That's fancy. That is a nice it, date. Yeah, after a few weeks, you I start bet you going was to Walmart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, to you're Walmart. trying to impress her. You're like, yeah. let's yeah. go to Target. <laughs> yeah. We don't buy anything. Right, right. But we're like, look at that. Taylor Swift's got a new <laughs> album out. That's pretty cool. <laughs> we're in love. Let's go make out in my car. <laughs> you want to make out in my car? Nothing turns me on like Olive Garden and then Target. I call it the Cleveland special. That's <laughs> <laughs> Olive Garden, and you hit up the Target. That's like nice. an anniversary, dude. It's <laughs> an <laughs> extra special. Go smell the candles. That's fun. They dude. still got the bald headed bistro in here. You guys know that? The bald headed bistro, is that still around? I have no idea. Okay. I'm just I don't know. I've heard of about it. Cleveland Dave. It was like a fancy <laughs> it was like a fancy restaurant. Cleveland's the only bald fancy headed restaurant. bistro. Are you from here? Yeah. I'm really? I'm from here. That's sad. Got any questions you want to <laughs> ask about Cleveland? I can answer <laughs> all of these questions. Has Wildwood always been what it is? <laughs> it used to be much worse, actually. Oh, I was shit, interested. Really? I haven't been down here in like ten years. So when I drove by it, I was like, damn, they got a tea place here? <laughs> 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 what happened to this town, man? That's why I asked when I rolled in, and I was like, so realistically, am I going to get a giant rock thrown <laughs> through my stuff? Because back then, I definitely would have. Yeah, that was, was the like first thing you said. You're like, yeah, I'm going to break it my I just want to make sure. Well, there is like a homeless That's center. cool that there's places like that. Where it's like to be scared. Yeah, <laughs> to be scared. There are there. It's, I'm glad that there are places where people can still be kind of afraid. <laughs> that's nice. People need that. I think they that's do. what it's that's what makes New York good, dude. That's it's scary New York's all the way coming around. back, yeah. dude. <laughs> New York's coming back with the crime. You want yeah. New York to have crime? We're doing 70s New York again. Yeah, dude. People getting shot New in the street York. and nobody cares. And then <laughs> and then you get nobody helps New them. York. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good. I'm just doing I hope my the New whole York world, thing. the whole country is like that soon, dude. Honestly, yeah, it is. The it is the best for comedy, for real, to live in a shitty city. Is it? I think so. Name five of your favorite '70s comics. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. Name a good comedy 70. movie. Well, from the I 70s. mean, just like all the best comics. Stand up comedy didn't start until 2006, <laughs> when Joe Rogan put out his first special, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that was the beginning of stand up comedy. <laughs> most most like of the top comics came out of New York, Boston, Philly, yeah. and like really grungy fucking cities. I do think there's something to being broken in a sad place. Like I'm trying to think of I've met a lot of good comics from like uh Detroit yeah. and like Pittsburgh. Yeah. Places there are generally like a how many more. how many top comics come out of LA? I don't know. Uh, it, like it depends on from what you want. LA. I don't know. Born. I probably. I would question. say probably quite a few, dude. Yeah. They're not born because well, they're like around the entertainment shit already. You know, like yeah, I, but I'm sure. A, I'm sure there's some LA. Sam Kennison is from yeah. LA. There's a difference. Not born no, he's dude, from like. No. He's like from Oklahoma shit, or something. Yeah. There's a difference in being a top comic and being a good comic too. True, like true. Yeah, you can true. be the number one comic in the world and still not be like that good yeah. of a comic. I would. Right. Would you rather be uh, top or good? Would I rather be rich or funny? Yeah. Mm, let me think. <laughs> mm, what? 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 Uh, uh, what me, gets my dick sucked on yeah. a boat? You know, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm an artist at heart, but if you put me in a room with both options, I would probably pick the million dollars. Yeah, I mean, for sure. respect. Well, you see, em, you see it happen all the time to like yeah. comics that are. It's easy to be like, I would never be that guy, but I don't know yeah. anyone that's had that offer. They given throw to them a and fucking been like, check no. at you, and you're like, no. for real? Like, I can no. put this in my bank account. This They're many like, yeah. zeros? You want me to have this many zeros? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're Three like, zeros. Okay. <laughs> hey, you're telling me all I got to do is quit showing people my balls? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not going to do that, but now I can afford to get away with it. <laughs> now, now I can afford the Now eternity. I'll go to rich people jail and play tennis. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's what they do, too. It's so true. 
Rich people jail rules. I'd rather live in rich people jail than the house I live in now. Yeah, bro. I want to be so rich I can build my own prison like Pablo Escobar, dude. Respect. I want to be so rich that I get in on the for-profit prison system. Nice. That's really rich. That's (laughs) that's like as rich as you can possibly get. (laughs) I want to get into um, opiates, too, you know? Yeah, selling them. Yeah. Yeah. I want to be. <laughs> I heard it's a good market, like dude. Purdue. The Sackler family's yeah, gone yeah. down. There's an opening. Be it, be in just. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to step up and fill the <laughs> role that the pharmaceutical industry is missing. Yeah, there's a big <laughs> hole in the pharmaceutical industry that we could put a bunch of bodies inside of. <laughs> <laughs> You're totally right. We need to get more. We need to make super kratom. <laughs> How super can we make this kratom? Oh, there's my for my degrees in environmental science there are jobs that's like you can starting make a lot of money in it, but it's like exxon yeah kind of shit. so it's like i could go work there and ignore them destroying the environment for the, really good money. and the funny that's part gone. is if you did that all you would do it was it would be exxon coming to you and they'd be like hey you're a scientist Gas is good for trees, right? <laughs> and you'd be like, yeah, it is. I'll put that in <laughs> a report. To that, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> New scientific journal, trees love gas. <laughs> I mean, just giving gas to trees all the time, dude. Published in like... Oil is Exxon. good for fish's skin. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's yeah. okay to Why do you think people eat fish oil? <laughs> yeah, dude. people eat fish oil and oil... Fishy people oil. <laughs> the circle goes round and round. You're like, look, what is nature, right? <laughs> what is nature? What really is nature yeah. when you think about it? Because I oil natu- is naturally occurring. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's evil? BP gas. <laughs> I'm an Exxon guy myself. It's better for the world. Exxon? <laughs> That would be cool, like a big Exxon jersey, you know. <laughs> yeah, I you am Exxon. Oil on. teams, but no, 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 BP's oil is bad for the. I wish I could do <laughs> s- do stand up as an uh, Exxon employee. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yo, what's up, everybody? My name is Exxon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just um, you know, there's a lot of jokes going on tonight, but let's get serious for a sec. Yo, Climate be, change is not real. <laughs> I'll be handing out free cigarettes after the show. <laughs> if you're under 18 years old, come get a free cigarette. I'll give you a whole pack. You got to yeah, smoke it in front of me, though. First one's free. You get to try them. <laughs> Have as many cigarettes as you want. All the way from Exxon. That's what I love about Tennessee. They're just like, eat cigarettes. Who gives a shit? <laughs> eat them, eat them, I went dude. to California. Cigarettes are like $20 a pack. The tax is so high on them. But then you go back to Tennessee, and Tennessee is like, we actually want you to kill yourself. <laughs> it's it's like three gun. packs for Put a dollar. Put it in your mouth. <laughs> right, let's go. <laughs> it's insane. The the difference between twenty dollars for a pack of cigarettes and then like two for three <laughs> deals mm. on like the the brand this. Have you ever had this? Oh yeah. Or I these? Don't smoke I think it was this. He was smoking those for a while. Smoking this, bro. Smoking this. I've I've been on that this, this train before. I hate yeah. I hate buying them. I was just like, can I have this? <laughs> can I have a like, pack of this? <laughs> can I yeah. use some of this? <laughs> Let me get some of these. <laughs> Let me get some a of pack this. Of this. Uh, how about do you two like of this? those? Yeah. Do you like it? <laughs> what do you think about this? Yeah. You know? Do you fuck with this? <laughs> Are you single? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing after this? That's what I ask. <laughs> Every time I buy the cheapest cigarettes humanly possible, I always <laughs> ask if they're single <laughs> right afterwards. <laughs> After you spent like 11 cents on cigarettes. <laughs> 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 These will get me through the year. Like you looking for a boyfriend? This. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's oh, like, I got a lot going for me right now. <laughs> Got all these cigs. <laughs> <laughs> I get 20 cigarettes. Yeah, yeah. Cigarette. You know how much this is worth in jail? <laughs> if I went to jail right now, I'd be rich. I got a 24 pack of beer 30. <laughs> what if uh, your mom is like, sm- finish your cigarettes? Like, there's people in jail that don't have any cigarettes. <laughs> all right, it's bedtime. <laughs> finish those cigarettes. <laughs> Let's get to bed, kids. I always Come like on. the idea of getting caught smoking weed and my parents making me smoke, smoke the whole, the whole like, ounce. Ounce. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. And great. you're, like, blowing O's and shit <laughs> on them. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, put on some fucking Beavis to Butthead, dude. <laughs> put on the new Snoop album, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, put on fuck, Beavis yeah. to <laughs> That's a great stoner cartoon. My <laughs> mom stuff. loves Beavis and Butthead. Really? Dude. That rules. Yeah, she she turned me on to Beavis and Butthead when I was like nine. She was like, You gotta watch this shit. Your parents so, are way cooler yeah, than mine. Your parents are cool as hell. My <laughs> parents were like, Beavis and Butthead is the devil. <laughs> 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 well, it was more my mom. My, we're, my mom 
would watch dirty TV shows with us, and my dad was in the army, so he would come home and be like, "What are you watching?" <laughs> like, <laughs> like they would do something dirty on the show. He didn't like cussing because yeah. he was in the army, so every all day it was. Just I'm trying to raise men. Shit, We're gonna watch everything. ISIS beheading videos <laughs> over and over again. He was like, "We have to watch 9/11 again." <laughs> My I remember dad, why I'm over there in the first place. <laughs> nah, you didn't want to go back over there, dude. He was out of the army when 9/11 happened. He was done. I get it. I wouldn't want to be over there either. It didn't seem like a <laughs> he cool turned vibe. 40 in Iraq. He was like, "This fucking sucks." What a what a birthday to have. <laughs> My dad wouldn't let me watch Beavis and Butthead, but he showed me the Saddam Hussein hanging video. Nice. That's weird. <laughs> I remember when that <laughs> happened. My dad was in Iraq when it happened. He actually uh, he shit in Saddam's toilet. <laughs> Really? Saddam Hussein's <laughs> golden toilet. My nice. dad took that's a shit a, in that's it. That's a huge flex. Yeah, literally. Did He's like Forrest Gump. Did he dude. take a picture of his <laughs> turd in <laughs> the <laughs> toilet? <laughs> Forrest <laughs> Gump. I pooped in Saddam's <laughs> toilet. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Classic, dude. <laughs> Your dad is Forrest Gump. He is Forrest Gump. Your dad crazy. might rule. <laughs> <laughs> He's cool. We'll have to have I him on the hang cast. Out with your dude. Dad. We should <laughs> we should have your dad on. He would hate. I love my dad. I feel like we've this. talked about him like on the podcast before. Like I am a big fan of. My you got a bunch of dude. other stories, just like yeah, he and George W. Bush made out one time. <laughs> <laughs> He's a member of the Skull and Bones Society. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He bathes in <laughs> diarrhea for the devil. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's the whole thing. It's pretty. He's cool. been to the Bohemian Grove like sixty times. Has dude. he? That's what Bohemian Rhapsody is based on. <laughs> Sponge of bullshit. I don't the know. song he's singing about the grove. <laughs> I'm just a poor boy. Nobody loves me. <laughs> All those skull and bones guys, totally poor. <laughs> <It's very laughs> he's just a poor boy in a secret society. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, That's oh, crazy out there. Hell yeah, dude, it's crazy. Out your there. dad's your dad's ever shit in a gold <laughs> toilet. <laughs> That's my knowledge. I wonder if he gave Saddam an upper decker. (laughs) (laughs) I I feel like he got to. Then you got to put a little flag in it. (laughs) Salute that shit. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to let freedom ring on this toilet, bro. You play that uh, Toby Keith song. (laughs) I love this Put a boot in your ass. That's the American way. (laughs) Man. <laughs> that song does rule. Uh, I mean, I'm not. I wouldn't call myself the most patriotic guy, but there are certain songs where I'm like, man, if an eagle flew by right now, <laughs> I would yeah, lose dude. my shit. <laughs> I, uh, I saw a few like eagles flying around yeah. the other day. It was, like, well, it was a little while ago, the but they were man. they were just <laughs> circling. I was like, man, these, so these eagles are sweet, and they they literally were like. <laughs> like they, they let out a big screech and I was like standing out in my yard like cheering for the <laughs> eagles. And then a rainbow was like, flew yeah. by. <laughs> Huge rainbow that was only red, white, and blue. <laughs> <laughs> it left out the gay colors, the dude. <laughs> <laughs> Get my so right right right. Stars yeah. and everything, bro. <laughs> And then Jesus Christ descended down with a MAGA hat on. <laughs> <laughs> Heaven opened up and he descended down. And he told me that Kanye West will be the next president. <laughs> <laughs> it was the most American thing I ever saw. Man, I hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what we deserve at this point. That might be what we deserve. Honestly. Maybe. Might not be wrong. We get Kanye, <laughs> dude. Kanye just <laughs> That would be us paying for our sins. <laughs> Yeah, that makes sense. That's why they call him Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Taking all our sins for us. The Fuck cool thing yeah. about Kanye is a lot like Jesus because Jesus also had a billion dollars. <laughs> <laughs> he also said a bunch of anti-Semitic stuff <laughs> a couple of years ago. Mm-hmm. And he also had a really hot wife. Hitler. <laughs> Look, Jesus might have said he loved Hitler, dude. I think he would have. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. Not because of what he did, because he loves everybody. You uh, know dude, I think maybe not. He hates evil, but he loves. I think Jesus might might have worded it a little bit better, though. Yeah, well, <laughs> he would have said, I love. I love. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus would never have said that, but only because if he didn't have any context, he might have said it. Mm. If we were just like, you love this guy? He's like, evil? sure. He's like, we got you. We got him, everybody. <laughs> Jesus Look, loves been, Hitler. Yeah. Jesus yeah. loves Hitler. Look, I've been in space for two thousand years. I don't know what's going on down here. I love all the memes about uh, Jesus's ad campaign during the Super Bowl. Oh yeah, God, he's he's yeah. really hurting right he now. Paid for those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I ain't never seen Jesus put up a commercial before. Yeah, Jesus That's has true. to recruit now. He's, He's flush with cash, bro. <laughs> I've been seeing that he gets us for a few years now. Yeah. I've been noticing that for sure. Who's that going to? I, Who I think it's um uh, one of the like mega church Probably Joel ministries. Olsen, bro. That makes sense. There's a, I think uh, Joel Olstein owns Christianity now. <laughs> that <laughs> that does make sense. He got a lot of money. <laughs> Kenneth Copeland, dude. Kenneth the uh, radio station I listen to is Jimmy Swagger. <laughs> Sun Life Radio. That Shout guy's out. crazy. Yeah. Jimmy Swagger is It's all like crazy. prosperity ministries. So like they'll be like, they do this thing sometimes where for an hour they just read like donations <laughs> and what people like prayed for. Like it's like prayer request donations, but it'll be like, a hundred dollars, Tiffany from Kansas. Pray for health. A hundred. It's like two hundred. Two hundred dollars, Alex, for he like an hour. He listens to on. this for an hour. <laughs> yeah. People, people pay them for prayers. Yes. Yeah. Yes. The more money you give, the more likely it is your dreams you come true. You want to start a church, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> I'm ordained. Hold that guy's on. going to hell. I'm right? ordained. Let's see if I have my. Going to hell. You are not ordained. How much did you have to pay? How many times do you have to enter the fifty dollars uh, lottery? It was it was thirty five dollars with the license. It's not in my wallet right now. I it's at home, but well, then you're I'll, not I'll put it right now, it's my you? wallet. I don't have my license. I can't practice any. Really? I can't baptize uh, you guys. Did I can't you officiate a me. wedding? No, dude. I just I did it in high school. Why? Did you officiate a wedding in high school? Me and my friends were doing it. No, we all got ordained at Taco Bell, dude. <laughs> Father Patrick, <laughs> you know. <laughs> can once you're ordained, can you ordain everybody else? Dude, I don't think so. You got to tell the government that you're. I think. Wait, starting why a based on what you're telling me, it seems like it's all bullshit. <laughs> so I think you can. I think okay, I can yeah. ordain. Why I did you get ordained you? at you're a, a Taco Bell? You're a minister. You're a minister. We were all just goofing off. <laughs> I do get an email every May that's like, you were. It's like, hey, Patrick, congratulations on seven years of ministry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your Here's ministry's many, doing great, <laughs> dude. Here's how many heaven points you unlocked this circle. These heaven I points used to have a bumper over. sticker that said minister on my Buick That's LeSabre, bro. <laughs> I, I called it the minister mobile. <laughs> it was a vanity place that said a joint for you. Down the road. It was bad, dude. <laughs> I was like crashing into shit. You know? <laughs> <laughs> ah, the Holy Spirit! <laughs> yeah. Don't block my vision again. <laughs> the bright lights of Christ kept me from <laughs> pull uh, up Dude, it was a front wheel drive Buick Saber. It was like the size of a bus, and I would drive like in fields. Like I would like pull off in the grass and just like spinning around and shit. You Coolest, do this with best intent. Car ever. You do that on purpose? I'd, yeah. Or accidentally? Just to have fun, dude. <laughs> Damn. You never done donuts? Man, there ain't, there donuts. ain't nothing to do in this place, man. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Everyone's like, what do you do for fun? I do donuts in a, a yard. <laughs> in I my minister mobile. In I yeah, it would always be like someone's yard or something. It was bad. Well, I would go to the high school sometimes doing it on the football field. <laughs> really? That's that's based. Not the big I field, but the little like field? the practice fields and shit. <laughs> practice yeah. field? How'd you get in? There's no gate? Just drive right up, dude. Just blast grass. the gates off. There's we road and there's grass. You we know? did that at the YMCA soccer fields. Nice. Yeah, we fucked you up. You probably broke someone's ankle. <laughs> we fucked Looking up back <laughs> on it, dude, you dig like the trenches and the dirt. We fucked up some fall. kids' soccer games for yeah. sure. Yeah. <laughs> During bad. the games. A bunch of seven year olds. Like, what? <laughs> Just a beat up Ford Explorer. Bet, oh, you, yeah. wow. Bet you kids wish you were us right now. Shoot <laughs> some rounds out the window, dude. Buy him, buy him, buy him. I was riding in the car with my buddy. He was in, he's from Florida. He was like, do you guys shoot the gun out the window in Tennessee? <laughs> and I was like, please don't fucking yeah. do that. Y'all just be shooting guns yeah. <laughs> down in Florida? We were, we were hiking one time, and there was like it was like a quarry, and there's people down here. And he was like, you think I should fire off a few rounds at the rocks and scare them? <laughs> Good God. He's funny. He's a funny guy. Florida people like are fucking crazy. He's <laughs> like a super funny dude. <laughs> sounds like a chill hang. He's out of his I mind, really dude. love to hang out with this guy. Real fun. You guys think I should rob the Denny's? <laughs> I got my we gun. We went out to eat the other day. He was like, I have two guns with me. <laughs> I was like, and I got a wallet that says bad motherfucker on it. You guys know where this is going, right? Oh, man. Um, all right. I think that's going to do it. Hell yeah. Y'all uh, got anything to plug? Dave? Uh, nope. No show. Uh, my, name's, my name's Dave. You Look follow? up Good Cop, Rad yeah. Cop on SoundCloud. Yeah, good Cop, Rad Cop, iTunes, SoundCloud, uh, Spotify. Mr. Hannah, GCRC on Instagram. 
Uh, nice. nice. It's, uh, I think what does GCRC it, stand for? Good comp, rad comp. Nice. He used to be Mr. Hannah 69, and uh, then my mother-in-law was like, what? what's this 69 about? <laughs> and I was like, it's not about anything. <laughs> You're like, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I love your daughter. <laughs> Patrick, you got anything to plug? Uh, my Instagram is Patrick Cuttlefish. I like a cuttlefish. Cute. It's cute. I don't really have any. Mental. Or I have a wide open. No, actually, I don't. I'm very busy. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to hit me up. Fully. Just what, is up, the, what is you and Ollie's podcast? Oh, yeah. The Fully Unrealized podcast. There you go. We haven't posted an episode in a few months, but that one's pretty good. There you go. If you thought Listen this podcast that. was good, that one's that really one's good. way better. Yeah. It's way better. I'll hey, be on that, too. There's I'll, neither I'll, of these guys. I'll go guys. ruin that podcast. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like fun. And you can, uh, you can look at giant dinosaur tits. True. While you listen, everybody loves that. <laughs> Good sales, guys. Thanks so much for Fuck. coming on. Dave. Thanks for having Thank us. Thank you dude. for coming on. It's um, been great, y'all. Yeah, really it was fun. It. That's it, dude. Y'all got any parting words? Keep it light and pleasant. It's good stuff. Just keep it real. <laughs> no dude. hardcore thing. I shouldn't get canceled after this. I don't think. And no one watches yeah, it. You're I don't think right. you're too famous <laughs> to get canceled right now. No one's gonna see it. You're People, good. they're gonna bring you down. They're gonna dude. take everything out of context. Honestly, you getting canceled would be good for your career. <laughs> it would. I would be, be so like, funny. Who is this Dave guy? It'd be like, yeah, it'd be like a little Aziz on Zari <laughs> situation. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I could take it. Hell yeah, we did it. All right, that's it. Fuck you. Bye.